Ye gods, there are more old bones here than Pine Valley Cemetery. You better get your husband down from there before I call a tree surgeon. They don't use anesthesia. Hey, honey. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Really. Just hanging out. I can see our house from here. That's fascinating. Well, enjoy the view, darling. Because tomorrow... You'll die. Sorry I scared you. Scared me? No, no, you didn't scare me, Tad. No, I'm I'm used to your stunts. Well, sweetheart, technically it wasn't supposed to be a stunt. Oh, oh, yes, that's right. You were teaching me a lesson. Yeah. Yes, that was a wonderful lesson. I got to watch you fall down and down thousands of miles to the earth. That was very educational. You want to know what I learned? That you love me more than life itself? That you're a royal jackass. <laughs> this is classic. I, I gotta get back and call No, you. no, video history passes you by. No way. Come on. <laughs> Dixie. God, yes, perfect time. And you know my husband, the chimp who fell to earth. Oh, my God, he's got a video camera. I'd uh, like to get this on tape if it's okay. It is not. It's a fabulous idea. Roll them. Smile, honey. Show us your assets. No, no, that's all right. Wait, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll. All right, you checked out okay. No broken bones. Nothing hurts? Just my pride. I'll put the ladder back. Now, the secret is you sift the flour twice, twice, right? Twice. It's the foolproof recipe for the perfect tart. Mm. Try the, this one. Oh, uh, excuse me. Would anyone like one of Winifred's uh, scrumptious tarts? Uh, Vanessa? <laughs> or Melissa? No, thank you. I think I'm not taking another... Oh, well, never mind. Those poor folk up in the cheap seats. Um... Uh, listen, um, I, I, I want to thank you guys, really, for cutting me down. And I meant what I said. If there's ever anything I can do for either one of you, you just, you let me know, okay? As a matter of fact, um... Oh, oh right, right, the, uh, the autograph, terrific. I'll just, uh, I'll get uh, a little cocktail in. Yeah. Actually, I, I, w I was hoping you could get me tickets to Chef Larry. <laughs> yeah, but fine, I'll just call me at the studio and I'll, I'll see what I can set up. Would you please see if you can find some scissors and cut me out of this? Scissors? You trust me with scissors? That's my wife. Likes to keep her husband tied up in knots. Oh, yes, that's because Dad here is hilarious. He's the life of the party. Everybody loves Tad. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you are a big, fat, stupid head. Let this be a lesson to you. Can't please all the people all the time. Well, I gotta say one thing for you, honey. You sure do know how to make an entrance. Glad you enjoyed the show, Ma. Yeah, well, once my ticker got started up again, that is. Dixie didn't look any too pleased, though. Good. Maybe she'll get the point. What point? Well, for all the drama, I was trying to convince her how stupid it is to take unnecessary risks. What, by falling out of an airplane? I didn't mean to fall out of the airplane. It was an accident. In any case, gambling with her life is a hell of a lot more frightening to me than that parachute. Oh, so you're still scared about her getting pregnant again, huh? No, Ma, I jumped out of the plane because of her cooking. Look, why don't I go over and see Dixie and uh, find out if it's safe for you to go home? No. Thank you. I don't need you to soften up my wife. I've 
I've got a lock on that job. Oh, you do, do you? Oh, yeah. If all else fails, I'll just... resort to boyish charm. Well, these couldn't hurt either. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you. 